Well, I turned 27 today. Two weeks deep into the semester, I missed two Cal classes, so I've barely done anything with that. Been kind of neglecting my online classes, but whatever. But abstract algebra owns most of my stress and anxiety this semester. And I'm finding that I guess it could be worse, but I feel like it could also be a lot better. My professor doesn't give any examples. Um, the only time he will provide answers to questions that he assigns, whether that's group work or homework from the uh, homework or anything else, is if he's asked during class. So each homework assignment has, you know, seven to ten problems on it. Some of those are multi-part. I don't get any answers for those, so I don't know whether or not I've done them right or not. And I've started doing my homework with other people too. I mainly work on it myself for the most part, but I'll ask them a question, um, you know, here and there to make sure I'm understanding something correctly or whatever. They they seem equally frustrated by that, so it would be super nice to have some answers to make sure I'm going in the right direction and you know not doing something totally wrong so I, I just have to make a point to ask questions in class from the homework that I really don't understand and uh, like I've probably mentioned before the internet kinda sucks YouTube kinda sucks for abstract algebra you can find maybe a dozen or two videos on really basic stuff but anything beyond that is just more or less a lost cause with a very few exceptions and I ended up ordering five books almost all of them if not all of them are textbooks for group theory and abstract algebra and two of them came in today one of them is more of like a personal interest and that's a, a book on combinatorial group theory which I'll get around to reading at some point it's probably gonna be a long time it might be at the end of the semester and another one is by M.A. Armstrong Groups and Symmetry and this is meant to be um, a textbook so I'm gonna peruse this tonight a little bit in the midst of my homework and we'll see what that's like and if I like it then well I'll, I'll review it either way but if I like it obviously I'll let you know and it, all of these are very cheap they're all from eBay they're all 20 bucks or less I think that one was three dollars and 88 cents I don't know most of these are most of the ones that I order are quite old printed in the 70s and 80s but I mean abstract algebra hasn't changed that much since the 80s and there's no sense in trying to get the most updated edition especially if an older version already comes very highly recommended from other sources so that's that so that's that it's gonna be rough i'm gonna i'm seriously considering making some videos like i did with proofs over the summer uh going over some homework problems and, and working them out on the whiteboard because i know that if i struggle then there's other people struggling to find content on it and if it helps one person then hey that's cool but i don't know where i'm gonna find the time to do that i haven't started working yet but i have to look up when like the the grade school schedules are and see when like the first report card or progress report comes out and see but that's gonna make me more busy i don't know when i'm gonna be doing that in the afternoon i would assume it'd be after kids get out of school which is i think between two and three or something like that which means I would have to more or less sprint for my class, which ends at 3.30 to meet them somewhere in town. So that's going to consume some of my time. So, but try and make the best of it and try and try and get in some of this additional stuff. And I need to, I probably mentioned in the last video, but I need to come up with a schedule for what I'm going to do, what I'm going to devote my time to on the weekends, what I'm going to devote my time to in the afternoons versus before class in the morning and afternoon so that I can... I can devote things proportionately, you know what I mean? Like doing my in-person classes before I have class that day, doing my online classes in the afternoon, doing extracurricular learning like coding and other math stuff, reading these math texts on the weekend and stuff like that so that I can, I can, I can start to take little bites of each one of these and, you know, do it incremental, incrementally the right way rather than um, you know, neglecting my schoolwork and, and all of this other stuff and, and housework and stuff to devote a whole day randomly to, to coding or learning Python or R or something like that. I want to be do a little bit of a time, just you know, just like a class, but on my own time. Juggling a lot right now. I'm trying to, trying to start up a routine. We've been out of town every weekend. We're out of town this weekend. I was going to go out of town next weekend. Can't really pull that one off with all this work I have to do and... 
I need to do some catch up because I did exactly zero over my four day weekend. So yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.